Proverbs chapter 30 verse 4 says, Who hath ascended up into heaven, or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? As we are quickly approaching the second coming of the Messiah, we can't help but contemplate carefully about the difference between the wise virgins and the foolish virgins as described in the parable in Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps, and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps, and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose, and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil. For our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so. Lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. As the Bible teaches us that it is not subject to private interpretation, we must let the Bible itself explain the difference between those who are foolish and those who are wise. Proverbs chapter 1 verses 5 to 7 says, A wise man will hear, and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels, to understand the proverb, and the interpretation. The words of the wise, and their dark sayings. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And what will happen to the fools who despise wisdom and instruction? The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. And for this cause Yahweh shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So, to all the wise virgins out there, what wisdom and instruction are we learning? What is the oil that the wise virgins should have? We read in Song of Solomon chapter 1 verse 3, Thine oils have a goodly fragrance. Thy name is as oil poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love thee. So the oil is Elohim's name. The foolish virgins do not know the Messiah's name, but the wise virgins love the Messiah because they know his name. Now, curiously, Revelations chapter 7, verse 2 to 3 says, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living Yahweh. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our Yahweh in their foreheads. And what is this seal in their foreheads? Revelations chapter 14, verse 1 says, And I saw, and behold, the Lamb standing on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his name, and the name of his Father, written on their foreheads. So, this seal is the Messiah's name and his father's name. And how does the Bible call these people who are sealed with the Messiah's name and his father's name in their foreheads? Revelations chapter 14, verse 4 says, These are they which were not defiled with women. For they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the firstfruits unto Elohim and to the Lamb. And so, we are back full circle to the Messiah's parable in Matthew chapter 25. But what is the Messiah's name and his father's name? Is it Jesus or Lord or God or Allah or Krishna or Buddha? No, the father's name is Yahweh, which means Yah eternal, and what is his son's name? It is Yeshua, which means Yah saves. 
This is why it makes sense that the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of Yeshua shall be saved. And finally, we are back full circle to the question from Proverbs chapter 30 verse 4 posed in the beginning, What is his name, and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? We hope and pray that you know the answer and that you will be sealed with the name of our Messiah and our Heavenly Father.